What's up pilots, Pilot83 here. Let's review the new update on the Pilatus PC-21. I reviewed this plane when it first came out, if y'all saw that video, and I was actually pretty satisfied with this plane, with all the little bugs it had. For 10 bucks, it was still a pretty great plane for the price, compared to some other planes that were twice as much that had some severe issues. But uh, the plane got a big update. Desmos has really been updating all his planes lately. And by the way, if y'all notice anything wrong with any of his planes, y'all can go to my Discord or or uh, me and message him there. He's in my Discord. Y'all can message him, and uh, he is constantly on top of these. We already have more updates coming for the felon. So let's get to it. So version 2.0.1. So. It says battery avionics and gen ops fix, shut off and fill pump fix, max RPM valve fix, add ground dusting effect, new wingtip vortex, new acrobatic smokes, fixed autopilot bug when starting from apron, fixed landing light name, reduced overall size. Okay, so I'm not sure if that's referring to the plane or the file. I'm assuming the file. So let's go ahead, take this plane out, and check it out and see if there's any noticeable differences. Uh, also, uh, the flickering fix, MFD, MFD fix, okay. See y'all on the runway. Alright pilots, here we are in the beautiful Pilatus PC-21. Let's check out these updates, shall we? First, let's remove these external fuel tanks, because I don't like the way those look. Boom. All right. The plane is real easy to start. Let me show you all how we do this, guys. Um. Okay, those are on. Go on and off. Okay. Let's fix this there. Canopy still does not open. So Desmos, I know you're going to watch my video, my man. We definitely need the canopy to open. That'd be nice. Um, last time there was no air brake handle inside the plane. I see there is still not a air brake handle. So Desmos, we need one of those, my man. If you could add that, that would be awesome, brother. But you can assign them. Um, the buttons up here, guys, do not work, but you can uh, use them by, I'll show you just a second here, guys. Check in, check in a couple things here on the manual. But yeah, uh, down here is where we can do our transponder and our radio. All works just fine. Okay, that seems to be good. Flaps to take off. Uh, remember last time, some of the autopilot features did not work. We'll check them. So we altitude, I see. Okay. So we can switch this from FMS to manual. Airspeed. Okay. Can adjust it. I'm wondering how we engage an indicated airspeed though. I'll see it up here. Um, let's check out the autopilot. I remember. I, I remember I was having some issues last time with. And uh, wanting to to follow the course fully. Sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't. Let's check it again. And I did a video on using this. I mean, this thing works great. And, and I, I kind of think it wasn't so much the plane, that was more of the sim before the updates, why it was having some issues. 
got some other planes I noticed we're having some issues with their FMS systems so we put that in send that come over here just our range all right now let's go to this go to this Yeah, this, this plane can do an ILS landing and all that good stuff. VNAV, we're not going to actually land an ILS landing today. I'm just going to fly around. I just want to make sure that she follows the flight path. Okay, let's execute. I should go to pink from yellow. All right, route. legs looks great uh, smoke 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 looks good all right well let's get moving guys Let's do it. Flaps up. Landing gear up. Love all the sounds in this plane, the rattling and stuff. This plane is quick too. This plane can do some maneuvers. All right. Flight model's great. Um, okay, let's try some autopilot here. Autopilot on. Altitude hold mode on. Increase altitude. Speed on. Vertical speed seems to be working. Just fine. Okay. Nav. And she seems to be doing it just fine. There we go. As you see, like I said, this place got some power. Intercepting our flight plan. Doing it just fine. Okay, so now this. I'm curious about this. Speed mode FMS. Manual speed mode. I 
how do I engage it? There's no... There's no auto throttle button in the plane. This is all this one thing. Okay, so I'm curious about that. Um, you see we're holding the flight plan very well. Just got us to our altitude, no problem. Slow down here. Vertical speed control heading. Yeah, guys, I am not seeing a way to make that work. Yeah, guys, I uh, just don't know. I have to ask Desmos about that, but I don't see a way to trigger this. Um, what if we turn VNAV on? Nope. Not positive, guys. I'll have to check on that, but that, that does not seem to be working. Um, but the flight plan works great. Um, I know this plane will do ILS. You put it in approach mode, it will automatically catch the glide slope. Let's go ahead and put her down. All right, guys. Let's land her in a little dirt, little dirt runway here. See what she can do.
And there you go, guys. Still a pleasure to land. Easy to land. Um, the plane definitely seems to be more well put together than the first time. So for 10 bucks, I still highly recommend this plane. The only things I could really say that need to be fixed is it needs the air brake handle. It needs... It'd be nice to get the canopy to be able to open. That'd be nice. And I'm curious about this. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. So I'm going to have to ask Des about that. Because I don't see an option. I remember last time I couldn't... I don't think I could even get to spin last time. But as always guys, I am Pilot83. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Join my Discord below. Until next time guys. Peace. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time guys, see you in the air.